I was feeling like church time. Forgive me for cheating on my wife or cheating on my husband. Will he forgive me for the lies that I have told? Will he forgive me for the ways that I have hurt my family, my children? Will he forgive me for the people that I have stolen from, whose lives I've hurt? Will God forgive me? Um, 2 Kings chapter 21. You see, Manasseh was 12 years old when he became king. He worshiped the moon, the sun, the stars, instead of worshiping the one who made the moon, the sun, and the stars. His sins against God were followed by his sins against his neighbor and his fellow country. His heart was so hardened by the deceitfulness of sin that he shed innocent blood. Manasseh knew better. He came from a good home. You say, but Franklin, this is the new millennium. Things are different. Uh, things have changed in the last 20, 30 years. We can do things today and society uh, goes along with it. Culture accepts it. What do you mean by sin? Well, God's laws are the same. His standards are the same. Uh, it, the same as they were 6,000 years ago. The same today. And they're gonna be the same a million years from now. His laws and his standards don't change. You say, well, okay, but what is sin? Well, telling a lie. Have you ever lied? You say, well, come on, Franklin. Sure. Or it may be somebody who say, no, I've never told a lie. Well, if you're saying that, you're lying right now. <laughs> All of us have lied, haven't we? So we're guilty. We're guilty of breaking God's standards, His law. Lying, stealing, committing adultery, murder, not honoring your parents, coveting. <coughs> the list goes on and on, but the thing is, you say, well, Franklin, I've kept most of God's laws. I'm, I'll be honest with you, I've been pretty good at that. It does, you can't be pretty good at it. If you've broken one, you're guilty of the same as breaking all of them. Now, don't you have traffic laws here in this state, or excuse me, in your county, your city? You go out here and you, you break the speed limit, uh, you pass when you shouldn't pass, you get a ticket, right? Yeah. It doesn't matter if you've kept all of the speeding laws up for the last 20 or 30 years. <laughs> it says whoever keeps the whole law yet stumbles at just one point is guilty of breaking all of them. All of us are guilty. The Bible says we've all sinned and come short of God's glory. All of us are guilty. Every one of us is guilty. And the wages of sin, the penalty... When you stand before God the judge, the penalty of sin is death. And God is a just God. But he cannot turn his back on sin. The wages of sin is death. The whole human race has a death sentence. Because when the first man, Adam, sinned, that sin has been inherited by each person that has been born. You were born with the sin nature. You were guilty of sin when you were born into this world. Oh, I love this because this is the verse of hope. For God so loved the world 
that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. God so loved you. That's right. He so loved you that he sent his son out of heaven to this earth on a rescue mission. He sent Jesus Christ from heaven to this earth to take your sin. And Jesus Christ went to the cross. And when he went to the cross, he took your sin. He took my sin, Franklin Graham's sin. And when he was nailed to that cross, he was nailed to that cross for me and for you. Jesus Christ is alive. He's right here, right here tonight, right here in Blackpool tonight. He will forgive you and he'll cleanse you tonight. The Bible says a man reaps what he sows. They will pay back for what their hands have done. Woe to the wicked, the Bible says. Disaster is upon them. God's judgment fell on Manasseh. And God's judgment will fall on you someday if you don't turn to Jesus Christ tonight. The Bible says, behold, now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. This may be the last chance, the last opportunity you have to receive Christ. I've met people and they said, well, I think I'll go home and I'll think about it. You may not have time. You may not have time. You come to Christ tonight. Forgave Manasseh. He'll forgive you here tonight. He set Manasseh free and you can be set free tonight. Let each time.